Hello, I'm Andrew Lissian. This is European Universe Last 4. Brandon is Germany, Germany to world. Germany's doing pretty well. France isn't. Especially the French Revolution, because it died. <laughs> uh, right, so. What is the plans? Well. Uh, well, let's just... Since we're just carpet seeding, let's talk about like the next series or whatever. Um, people have said, oh, why don't you use extended timeline, etc., and make this go on forever. I don't know if you can take a current save and put it into extended timeline. I incredibly doubt it. And also, it's kind of pointless, because once you're so big like this, it just becomes a little bit nightmarish. Like, we're having a war with France. It's just going to be the same thing over and over again. It's kind of more fun just to see what we can do by the end date, rather than just going, we have infinite time, do everything. Because actual world conquest is just kind of boring. Just very micro-y. Micro-intensive and not that much fun. Or at least that's in my opinion, of course. Some people might find it fun. I don't. I would find it very, very tedious. Kill. How are we doing down here? Uh, oh, we're full on admin points. Can we, what can we spend admin points? I guess we could boost ability. Yeah. You're not done yet. Okay. Get over here into some nice high tax base provinces. Like, we're actually running out of stuff to do down here. Actually, what? Screw it. Let's just go sit in Ile de France. Ile de France has got a ridiculously high tax base. We can just sit there. Be very happy with how things are going in life. You both done? Yeah, you are both done. Sweet. Okay, uh, Elder France is getting a little bit overloaded now. Move out. Go to Orléans. We're still taking attrition there. That's weird. Ah, no, we're actually taking almost zero. That's fine. Do 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 do. Come on, France. Work with me here. I really want to give you peace, but, you know, you're not just, you're not just... Amor. Okay. Let's see what they want for peace, right? We're at 99% anyway. Come on. Come back. Release nations. Cancel vassals. No, I don't want to cancel those vassals. Release nations. Right, so we could release... I don't know why we really want to cancel Manchu. We could release all of that. Which would be it would be a fair amount. It would hurt them. And then oh we can't get those either. Which is annoying. I really want to get some more like decent provinces. I guess we get Holland. We can't even get Holland. Holland's just such a high tax based province, I guess. Uh, now. A lot of these seem to have expired around here, the cause. Which is a shame, because I'd like to be able to split them off. Uh, I don't... I don't really want you to see, like, release Gudra as a sovereign state. Like, that really doesn't make much difference to me. Or the Cree. I like that, the idea of Brabant. The idea of bar. How are we costing more now? I swear it's costing more stuff now. Yeah, the war score's gone up. I don't know what I clicked. Whoops. Way from shark country. Let's see what's on over here. Clear offer and start again, right? I would like you give up bar, not create Brabant. Yeah, that seems good to me. Switzerland and Trier. It's Metz, isn't it? Yeah. I want Holland for myself. Yeah, there we go. 104 war score. Not going to happen. So. 
What else can we get? What else can we get? Um, this I can't really touch, so we'll get rid of Trier. Can we get Uterate for nine? No. No. I think we ignore the south, maybe. And then we just maybe get a load of promises up here. Oh, 100 wars go exactly, and they would go for it. It's pretty good. I like that idea. Did we actually get this down here? No, but we're not going to be able to take them for more than 100 war score, right? So this is fine by me. We're not going to get the uh, the Australia that we want. But I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We get a load of pretty decent stuff, right? It's going to be annoying. They always want to kind of, like, leave, get away from us and uh, bugger off. But I think that's fine. Now, the alternative is to get, like, Calais, right? And then we can core Kent. Because it'll be next to us. Which means that we could, in our war, basically take everything around London. I think we could probably afford that 100% war score. And that way we could actually literally get London at the end of the game. Which would be hilarious. Um, I'm actually kind of liking that idea. Especially since these provinces, like, they're good. But they'll be annoying to keep. Because uh, we'll get a lot of, um, what they're called, rebelly dudes. Get Holland as well. I can't get Zealand. Can I get you direct? No. Nope, can't get Picard. We're so fighting a coalition war against Great Britain straight after this. Like, <laughs> it's just gonna happen, right? It's not really, uh, not really something we've got a choice about. Just massive coalition war. Screw it. Now, I really don't mind having an orphaned Calais, right? Because we can core it because it's in the same sea zone, coast of Holland, so we can core that. That's fine. The uh, The main interesting part will be the fact that uh, if we go to war and, you know, someone actually tries to invade it, it'll likely be France, and then we can just walk across France anyway. Because why not? I'm actually liking this setup a lot. Now, the downside is, of course, that we'll probably need to culture convert these to stop bloody Dutch um, revolutionaries, because... The Dutch revolutionaries are crazy. I think we'll just time accelerate a little bit more because I'm going to see if we can get Utrecht on the side. Because Utrecht do like us ish. Almost. We might even be able to get an alliance with them. So we will grab a royal marriage. And they won't. They won't ally us, which is annoying. Oh, I might just have to break that royal marriage. I wish I hadn't done that royal marriage now. Oh well. Let's also see if we can get uh, the last province down here in Prishnaws. They will fear us! Morale recovery for navies. Come on. Yay. I'm happy. Right, so, in addition to that peace offer, can we get this? Yes, we can! So this will be 18 with Great Britain. Loads of the Holy Roman Empire. 30 with the Netherlands. It's the end of the game, dude. We'll go for it. Why not? Literally, why not? Ah! Tasty, tasty, tasty. We need to call you. And we need to call you. <laughs> and we need to call you. And you need a core. And you need a core. And I could harsh treatment all these, right? And I probably will need to. Because they'll uh, actually rise up underneath. Which is going to be really annoying. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Harsh treatment them, but... Which has a point. I could probably sell them to Brabant and then eat Brabant. Yeah, let's actually see if we can do that. So... Let's not call you guys. What I really want to do is get royal marriage with uh, Brabant. Come on, there we go. Royal marriage. Great, because we're going to vassalize them. 
just vassalize everyone, right? There's absolutely like no reason not to start vassalizing everyone. Um, I'll probably feed Ireland to Connacht, so that's that's fine. I won't actually eat them. When can I alliance you? Oh, we need a positive opinion of them. We don't have one. Ah, uh, it's improving my opinion of them, though. So let's ask for military access. Help them along a bit. We'll actually get there eventually. Uh, in the meantime, we'll start doing things like... Proclaiming guarantees. Okay, and... Boom! Proclaim a guarantee on them. G. 20 stack, th yeah, there we go. So split. 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 And there we go. All nicely split up. Okay, so it's going up. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I should probably improve relations with them as well. So, let's keep going. Russia, uh, the Russian conquest against the Ottomans. Sure, we're going to war against the Ottomans then, guys! It's war against the Ottomans. Um, I probably won't even fight it. I'm gonna go against Great Britain. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Come on. Oh, I meant to be not facilizing, I meant to be improving relations. Good to see! Gain Navy Tradition. Excellent. Excellent. Yay! We can now get a flying battery! That's what I'm just hearing when I when I hear flying battery. Okay, uh, down to you. And if we're going to go against Great Britain, we need our sea power back, so... Maybe we'll have a little fight against the Ottomans for a while. Seems logical. And... You all are... Battleships type thingies. As are you! So let's move everyone into position. Um, unfortunately... I actually would like to start transporting 60 at a time, rather than 30 stacks, like... It makes just sense, right? So we'll we'll build 30 more of these. Which should be done by the time we have to start transporting to... Britain, probably. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 2 short, 1, is there not another province we can do? That's annoying. Uh, Danzig is the quickest build then. 1 province short, because we actually have 32 down there. Oh, we'll build a couple of spares, right? Because it's always good to have a, a couple of spares standing by, just in case, you know, we lose one or two. Naval battles we can lose, right? L naval battles can happen like that. Well, we're losing a lot of uh, our Diplo and Glare. Netherlands doesn't like us. Uh, well, they will ally us. They will ally us. I'm okay with that, right? Otherwise, I was about to can cancel my like relationship with them. I was going to be like, nope. Not good enough. It's alliance or bust. Not just power revolt risk or lose prestige. I'll lose prestige because I'm about to gain it back. I'm always gaining it back. There we go. Off Reliance. Bam! And then when we can uh, actually properly vassalize them. There we go. That's the Rebels. Hi Rebels. Where's our General? There we go. Go kill. As you know, go stand on top of it. You might as well. You have the, uh, the power. Decrease Revolt Risk. Malvana Massacre. The conspiracy is being discovered in Malvana. Some disgruntled foreign employees, blah, 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 blah. 
Storm has seized a local fort and murdered the local governor in an attempt to undercut the trade company's business. All conspirators were convicted, sentenced to death, and beheaded by the order of the governor. This incident has naturally stirred up quite the reaction, though. Either we can imprison the governor or support the governor. France will hate us. Or local revolt risk. Yeah, France, you're going to hate us anyway, France. I don't mind. I'm going to support the governor. I'll be like, yep, doesn't matter that we cop chopped off your dude's head. He probably was deserving it. All right. How funny it's the Ottomans. I could siege stuff for you, but I'm lazy. I'm sorry, Russia, I'm lazy. <laughs> Why didn't you help us? I'm lazy. Best excuse ever. Okay, we seem to be one short here. I was hoping for 16 lights. Did we... Have we got, yeah, we've got a light over here. That's what I thought. Grab your light ship. Move you to here. What I will actually do is I'll move uh, all of our completed ones into a separate sea zone, so they'll be easier to do. There we go. Bam. Battle of Antwerp, one again. Ah, <sighs> they never learn, do they? They never learn. Graben, off reliance. Perfect. We'll just start feeding them tasty, tasty cores. Num, 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 num. You want tasty cores, don't you? Right. We're almost at a limit for Diplo, so we'll have to start annexing soon. Uh, we could do technologies, but... I'm going crazy. For the last, for the last 30 years, we're going to go crazy expanding. Crazy expansion is on its way. It will happen. We will save the day. Po uh, Poland? No, Portugal. Why, is there, why am I calling everyone Poland today? Do you all want war against France? Is that it? Because I killed France's manpower. No, no one's actually having war against France. I'm surprised by that. What are you all against? War against? Oh, everyone's jumped on the Ottomans. And the Ottomans have jumped on me. Go have fun. Don't stay up too late. Ah, they're leaving. They're scared of us. Right, um, trying to get you two on side, wasn't I? So I've got a proclaim guarantee on you. I don't have one on you, so let's proclaim a guarantee here. Let's offer you military access. Offer you military access when we can. 15th of March, here it goes. Boom! Offered military access. Grass expansion is pretty painful on you, actually. I don't know if we'll be able to actually properly uh, get you going. You, on the other hand, I'm pretty pleased about. Oh, advisor. Military. Uh, I'm thinking we need like a high military dude, so I'm going to go discipline. He's the highest we've got. Two, which is unfortunate, but well. Let's start moving all of our transport ships over. And the battleships. Well, they're not battleships, but you get the idea. Riga need to learn to be my friends. Riga, what are you playing at? But I'm busy doing other things. Come on, Riga. I need, I need more diplomats. I need more diplomats. That's the problem. I need diplos. Should have gone an idea group that gave me diplos. Recall Diplomat from the Netherlands. Yeah, we're not getting to the magic number today, unfortunately, from the Netherlands, so... Calais. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's going to be Amphibious Assault. We're getting there. Getting there. Uh, ten away from when we can start using the Send Gift to just own you. We'll just use the Send Gift anyway. And then we can uh, just push you a little bit higher. Where is our... Ooh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
Armies, navies, navies, lots of ones, lots of ones, and a 70. Go, my 70, go! Roll the world! It might take some time to get there. We're owning the Ottomans because, you know, we're really helping out on that one. Some definite frame rate lag was so big and we've got so many things going on. Whoa, the frame rate lag is making me a little bit on the dizzy side. Ah, how much money are we making? Crazy bank. We're making crazy bank. Tempted to just go a second, uh, another unit. We will do. Screw it. Why not? Just why not? Actually, we have that um, that unit that's in the transports. What are they made up of? 13, 3, 10? They need one infantry, three horses, and six cannons. One, three, six. And then they can be a, a, proper, a proper unit. One. Three. And there we go. And you know what? Let's build another 60 stack while we're at it because no one's going to stop us. Just war on everyone. Like, <laughs> like seriously, we have so many ducats. I mean, let's just ch check. Uh, missions, create a proper fleet. I wonder how big our foursome is for fleet now. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, let's make another bunch of uh, bunch of dudes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then twenty-eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right now, just twenty to go. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen to go. One, two, three, four, five, ten to go. One, two, three, four. Four, five, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Bam, done. We can do it, so why not? Right? That's that's the point. We can have this crazy, stupid, like massive, bloody, ridiculously large army. We have crazy amounts of money. We've got a good income. Ow! And the cost goes up <laughs> immediately after we've just bought them. Fine. Sure. Um, local tax modifier. Manpower. I think we're fine with manpower. Um, what I will say, though, for Venice is when we get to war with the HRE, I'm so going to start feeding Venice its old cores. Oh, and we can vassalize you. Excellent. Now, Riga, are you actually going to be my friend at any point in this uh, this day and age? Vassal plus 50, loads of pluses, aggressive expansion is unfortunate, was at war, that's fine. Uh, we'll start eating Denmark now. We need to start eating someone, right? And I, I would love to eat Riga sometime soon, but you're, you're quite far away. So, annex Vassal. Oh, we can't annex when we're at war. Great. Can we finish the war of the Ottomans, please, Russia? I've got plans. Got, I've got dinner reservations. Every, is it literally everyone at war with the Ottomans? Except the people it's got a truce with. Um, yeah. Okay, that sounds like a great war. The Holy Roman Empire is at war as well. Let's look at this. Yep, Imperial Conquest. They want to uh, get back Imperial Territory. That territory. 
which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna call the episode here. I've been Andrew Lissy, and this has been Brandenburg to Germany, Germany to world. Germany's doing fairly well, and soon it will control all the Denmark things. And then we'll go to war with Norway, because why not? In fact, we're going to war with Norway in like two days. Because, again, why not? Do we have a but do we have a claim? We don't have a claim. Someone fetch me a claim! Fabricate fab fabricate me a claim. There we go. Um it doesn't really matter where we fabricate the claim. Norway will be ours. Norway will be ours. <laughs> anyway, I've been Andrew Lysium. If you've liked the episode, please like and if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. As per usual. Stay shiny. <laughs>